Hello traders, welcome back to another entry in this diary and in today's video I'll talk about how to trade the euro dollar, the most liquid, most popular pair. We'll go over the ideal sessions and time frames and a couple of other bits. So let's just look at what we'll cover in this video. So today we'll go over why the euro dollar can be a tricky market and what's in it for you as a trader if you decide to trade it the ideal sessions to trade this pair and the preferred time frames that I would use to trade it. Not all of them are suitable in the current times at the moment and I'll just go over a quick example of a strategy. So let's begin by the looking at the first overview of the euro dollar itself and why it's a tricky market. So out of all the pairs, out of all the markets and forex, the euro dollar is by far the most liquid. That means it has the highest amount of money traded in it and most likely the highest number of traders by that extension. So that means that a lot of money, a lot of people are participating in euro dollar and that makes it most prone to manipulation seen as there is most liquidity for banks to take and there are other factors at play uh, or you may know that many brokers offer low spreads um, most of the time it will be a zero spread which reduces the commission reduces the uh, costs of trading and that entices more people to focus on the euro dollar and that adds more money into the market. So we have more and more people trading it with zero spread and sometimes zero commission. So that liquidity creates bigger swings in the market, bigger movements and also more unpredictability in the euro dollar. So let's have a look here at the euro dollar in practice. What you'll be able to see is that we have very sharp move down here. The market has been selling off without much many pullbacks. Then the market begins to range. Then it creates a new trend. And just as it creates a new trend, it reverses and then creates a very slow downward trend. And that makes it very tricky to read and this is a very slow, very unusual type of movement for many, many, many months, in fact years. And what we have afterwards is in fact the market just wipes out all of these people who went short here in a very short space of time. It takes out all the people who were short within the whole of 2019. So you can see that makes it a very unpredictable pair to trade and you really need to be aware of what you're doing so we need to be very careful and uh, very strict with our criteria when trading the euro dollar and what you can see here while this looks like a downtrend and a continue of a down continuation of a downtrend what happens next is we actually have a new uptrend forming once again so confusing um, for trend traders, for range traders, um, it's not the easiest pair to trade, let's put it that way. So what would be the best sessions to trade the euro dollar? Well, the best would be the London Open and the New York Open within the first few hours of those opening times. So we would have uh, we can mark out the beginning of the day and we can see that uh, here this is UK time between 8 and 2 or 3 hours after that we will have this period if you are doing intraday trades and then we have the New York session which is at the moment between 1 and a few hours after that will be 3 or 4 p.m. So those are the key times to focus on for intraday trading and since it's the 
euro, which is European time zone, and the dollar, which is a dollar time zone, then that would be the London session and the New York session. That would be where the liquidity will most likely come into the market. Okay, now let's go over the time frames quickly. So we can see that the higher time frames are pretty confusing. Um, it's tricky to read the market uh, most of the time. Um, doesn't yield many setups, and when it does, as you can see, the market starts trending, and then it can very quickly reverse against you. And when it does trend, it can get confusing, and the swings are not always clear. In this occasion. They were very smooth. However, here we can see an uptrend and a break, another uptrend and a break again. So just so when you think you can get on to the trend, you are taken out. So the higher time frames are confusing. The weekly, the monthly is a bit monthly is a bit more cleaner, but the weekly, the daily the four hour even can be unpredictable and hard to trade. So what do we do in this case? In this case we can drop to the lower time frames and focus on intraday trades on the 15 minute and the 5 minute time frames and look at smaller 20, 30, maybe 40 pip moves in a certain direction and only focus on that day by day week by week and for example we can take let's say we look to this pullback we take this trade and we exit within the same day and whether the market continues moving or it doesn't we take our trade so it's a more reliable uh, way to uh, take consistent pips out of the market. If you do decide for to go for the four hour time frame or the daily, just make sure you have a very clean setup as you can see the market can get very messy and just when you get on board a trade you may be taken out. So what would be an example of a trade? Well we have here the beginning of a day we have here the beginning of the London session, which is 8 a.m. And then we have a few hours after that would be 11. So we have this three hour window period. We have a new trend forming as confirmed by the EMAs. If you trade on EMAs, we have a, a zone here and we would look to continue on that zone. To buy the market when we have a confirmation so we will place our buy with our take profit and this would be our trade and we'll be just be looking to secure those 20 or 30 pips and let the market do what it wants to do after that and take what we've made from it and just go for those very easy to spot trades where we have clear levels, clear zones, and we have a clear trend. Again, we have the same thing happening here. There's another example. If we just rewind to this point, in this case, we have the market beginning to trend. This is all on the 15 minute beginning to trend. Now we want to see that continuation. And once we have that, confirmed continuation. In this case, this is a few hours into the New York session. We have the trade here. Again, 20 to 30 pips. And then we let the market do what it wants to do and continue on its way. Um, in this case, the market ranged and then it took profit. So just go for the very, very clean setups, very clean levels. Um, use your 
indicators very carefully and just go for the very cleanest, very easiest to see setups. Do not try to bag 100 pips, do not try to create, get huge moves out of the market. Take what you can get and be out. And the way you will benefit is because you've got a zero spread uh, and most likely in your broker depending on the type of account you use you may also have a very low commission so you can get more pips out of the market than other pairs and end up with more money left in your account so on a daily basis if you're going to trade the euro dollar then simply wait for the next session wait for the london session and wait for the new york session and then watch out for the trend and certain very clear levels that you could trade together with your indicators whether it's emas or fibonacci and enter that trade and if you don't see it then you don't see it wait very patiently for the next setup you may have only one only a few setups a month even when they are very very clean very clear cut and if they're not then best to leave them alone either way take care and watch out for the euro dollar uh, playing tricks on you and look carefully at your setup just make sure you stick to the highest quality setups in your criteria okay so thanks very much for watching guys and just remember consider taking profit earlier than usual don't try to swing the trade as far as it will get it will go uh, take your profit earlier consider that the market may not move to where you want it to because it's more manipulated and be strict with your setup criteria okay good luck and thanks again see you on the next trading journal diary entry